Hi, welcome or welcome back to Journey Into Stories. Today, I'm going to be doing my weekly check-in for October 26, 2024. This week, I read two books, and then I'm wor working on a reading vlog behind the scenes with another, a third book. The first one I want to talk about is Only If You're Lucky by Stacy Willingham. And excited because it's one of my book of the month books. I have read... Let me see, what books have I read by her? I think three. A Flicker in the Dark, All the Dangerous Things, and this one, Only If You're Lucky. The other two books, A Flicker in the Dark and All the Dangerous Things, I gave four stars. This one, I did rate three and a half stars, but pretty much anything that Stacey Willingham um, writes, I will definitely read. I enjoy her writing. I enjoy her characters. I enjoy the way she tells a good uh, mystery thriller story, and I just, I really like her as an author. It's a, it's a story about friendship. You have Margot and Lucy, and they meet towards the end of, I think, freshman year of college. Margot's very shy, very reserved. Lucy is the opposite. Lucy Sharp is a larger-than-life, magnetic, addictive bold and dangerous, especially for Margot, who meets Lucy at the end of their freshman year of Liberal Arts College in South Carolina. Margot is the shy one, the careful one, always the sidekick and never the center of attention. But when Lucy singles her out at the end of the year, a year Margot spent studying and playing it safe and ask her to room together Something in Margot can't say no. Something daring or starved or maybe even envious. They become friends. They live together. There's also two other friends, Sloan and Nicole. So it's a group of four friends. And something about Lucy is very familiar to Margot. And there's all kinds of mysteries as to what's going on. And I did enjoy the kind of the plot twist that I see. I... I you know, I read so many thrillers and mysteries, and I think I have parts of it. I did guess one significant part, but when I tell you, it was right before it was revealed. So, I, I mean, it's not like I, I knew this the whole entire time I was reading it. I guessed it literally seconds before it was revealed. So that that's a pretty good book, even though I guessed it, 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 it I didn't know it the entire story. I, I did enjoy how everything gets tied together. And when you think you know something, you really, you're thrown for a loop. So it was kind of a crazy ride with that. It was my lower, I mean, I still gave it three and a half stars, but it was my lower rated uh, Stacey Willingham book. I don't know, sometimes when you read a book or I found out actually kind of similar. We'll, we'll go back. But um, when I was pregnant and I found out um, what we were having both times, I, I, I'm blessed with two beautiful children. Um, we are. But um, people kind of suggest names to you and you're like, um, no. And it's not because it's not a good name, but you relate that name to a certain person that you may have known or whatever, or in school, they may have gotten a lot of trouble. You know, it's, it's unfair to people with the name, but you're like, I, I just can't see myself naming my kid that because you associate it with something negative. Um, that's kind of what I did with a couple of the names in this book. I'm not going to go into detail, but, um, yeah, I, let, let's just say the way one of the characters were written and the name that they were given is spot on to somebody that I had in the past, um, that I knew in the past. So, you know, now that I think about it, I should give it a five star, but it kind of was like, because mm, it made me think of this certain individual and some things and, you know, so... I, I couldn't get that out of my head, unfortunately, but I did 
Enjoy my time. I will pick up anything by Stacy Willingham. And again, only if you're lucky. And I gave this three and a half stars. I did enjoy my time with this. Okay, the second book that I'm going to talk about is The Boyfriend by Frieda McFadden. Again, this is a book of the month, and this one just came out this month. Like, who am I to get it in the mail and pick it up and read it immediately? So pretty proud of that. But here's my second book of the month. I kind of have a mission that I, I want to at least read all of her books all of her books or at least add them to my bookshelf because I think she's a fabulous author and this book I gave uh, three and a half stars it's not my favorite book I've read by her but I will read anything she writes and I'm slowly diving into her backlist of books and this I was really excited to see that it was book of the month for October um, this is about Sydney Shaw it starts off where She's on a date with an individual that she met online in a dating app. She, I think he even lied about everything. You know, it, she was surprised at um, him being who he, he introduced himself as. The date is horrible. She's not enjoying it at all. He is kind of passive aggressive with some of his comments he makes. It's just horrible. She's not enjoying it. I think her friend was supposed to call her and uh, give her an excuse, a way out if the date wasn't going good. So he says, let me walk you home. And of course, she doesn't want him to know exactly where she lives in case he's a weirdo, stalker, whatever. Something happens. But then eventually Sydney meets somebody else who she really has a connection with. Um, he's charming. He's handsome. He's a doctor. I'll just read this part. Then the brutal murder of a young woman, the latest in a string of deaths across the coast, confounds police. The primary suspect, a mystery man who dates his victims before he kills them. With this book also, Sydney has a group of friends and they all are dating people. And you can kind of guess what's going on with some of them. But uh, the book is called The Boyfriend. So you're, you're really not sure who <laughs> is the uh, boyfriend that the book may be talking about. I guessed a few parts, but not really. This is not my favorite book that I've read by Frieda McFadden, but I did give it three and a half stars. I did have a really good time with it, and it just was nice to get the book this month, read it, and not that I'm going to get off my shelves, but check, you know, something that came in. I read it immediately. You know, it's, it's not on my TBR necessarily. I did have a lot of fun with that. So with that, I hope you're taking care of yourself, take care of one another, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Have a great day.